and welcome back to Cook and Cheer. Today we're making some absolutely delicious homemade apple pie. So let's get started. Our ingredients are salt, nutmeg. Now this is totally optional, so if you can't find nutmeg, just leave it out. Cinnamon, lemon juice, butter, cornstarch, white granulated sugar, dark brown sugar, apples. Now you can use just about any kind of apples you want. And of course pie pastry, and yes we do have a recipe for this and I will post it. The first step is to peel our apples. Now if you don't have a peeler, just use a paring knife. After the apples peeled, we're going to cut them into quarters. Next, I'm going to cut the core out. And now I'm going to cut them into about quarter inch pieces. Just about like this. And I'm going to set these aside in a bowl. Next, we're going to add the lemon juice to the apples. Just pour it nicely over the top. And I've just put on some gloves here and I'm just going to gently mix it in. And what this lemon juice does is it prevents the apples from turning that yucky brown color. The next step, we're going to add our nutmeg over the top of the apples. The salt. Cinnamon. the granulated white sugar and the dark brown sugar. Now if you don't have dark brown sugar, of course you can just use white, but I just like the taste of the dark brown. And I'm going to use my hands again and I'm going to nicely toss this until the, until the apples are nicely covered with all the mixture. After everything's nicely combined, we're going to leave these sit out at room temperature for about an hour. And this begins a process called macerating. What that does, it releases all of the water from the apples. So we've all seen that huge gap when you look at an apple pie. Between the apple pie filling and the crust, well this will eliminate that gap. After an hour in the fridge, our pastry is nicely chilled, so we're going to lightly flour the surface. Place the pastry on, and begin to roll it out. Until we get a nice surface area, just about like this. And we're going to roll it onto the rolling pin. Roll it back out over the pie pan, just about like this. Now we have it nicely rolled out. We're just going to lift and tuck around the edges. And I do mean lift it up. Don't try to push it in or it won't spring back on you. Next, I'm going to take a sharp knife and I'm just going to trim the excess edges off. And that's the bottom of our pie shell done, just about perfect. Now this excess you have, don't throw that out. You can stick it in the freezer and bake tarts or whatever out of it at a later date. And I'm just going to put this in the fridge and we'll go to the next step. The next step, our apples have sat for about an hour and we've got quite a bit of liquid going on here. And then I've just placed a strainer over top of another bowl and I'm just going to pour the apples into the strainer. I'll just show you here, we've got quite a bit of uh, liquid that's released from these apples. And I'm just going to leave them sit in the strainer for another 15 to 30 minutes. Now that our apples have sat in the strainer for about 30 minutes, we're finished collecting the juices. And we're just going to pour these juices into a Pyrex measuring cup. Add in the butter at room temperature. And I'm going to place this in the microwave for about five to seven minutes until it nicely thickens and caramelizes. After about seven minutes in the microwave, this is nicely thickened. You can alternatively do this in a saucepan just over a medium low heat. The next step, I'm going to add my apples back into the bowl. Then I'm going to pour the liquid back over the apples. I'm going to add the cornstarch which will absorb any remaining liquids and will make it nice and thick so you don't get that runny stuff in the bottom of your pie. Now I'm just going to toss this well until everything's nicely combined again. Now I'm going to add the filling to the pie shell and make sure you've got a nice even distribution just about like this. The next step we're going to roll out the top of the the pie shell uh, using the same process as we did with the bottom. Now that our shell is on the rolling pin, we're just going to roll it over the top of the pie, just like this. 
Now I'm just going to take my knife and I'm going to cut under the under the lip of the pie. And I'm just going to tuck the top and the bottom together so the pie is nicely sealed. Now you can use whatever method or effect you want with this. Now we're going to crimp it. What I'm going to do in this case, I'm just going to take my thumb and finger and just go around the pie just about like this. Add a nice visual effect. Next, I'm going to take a sharp knife and I'm just going to put some slits, well, four slits in the pie for air dents to allow the air to escape. Now I'm going to brush my pie with an egg wash, which is just a combination of egg and milk, just so it browns nice and evenly. Next, I'm going to place my pie into a baking pan, just in case there's any spillage. Now I'm going to slip this into a 350 degree preheated oven for about 45 minutes. After 45 or 50 minutes, our pie has nicely browned, and we're going to remove it from the oven and set it in a cool place. And we're going to let this cool for three or four hours before serving. And here's our apple pie. Believe me, I just had a piece. This is incredibly delicious. You're going to love this. For more information on this recipe and more cooking tips, visit our website at www.filipinocooking.net. And as always, have a great day and enjoy.